Today I'm gonna be doing a very very requested video which is how I edit my videos so let's get started let's start off with the cropping the first thing I do is take all the clips I'm gonna use to the editing uh, little thing in the bottom I guess and then um, I just pause in the parts that I don't that I want to crop and you pause with the space bar then you can use the blade um, that you can select it in the little arrow and then just go back to select after you cut and the easiest way to cutting is using command B in your keyboard now I'm going to show you how to get these overlays on your videos so the first thing is searching in Google for transparents or PNGs and you'll get like a bunch the way you'll see if it's a PNG is by noticing the square in the background that's like white and gray uh, higher and have a nice butt <laughs> it said there but um yeah if it has uh the squares then it's a png if it has a white background or anything else it's not so you can search for emoji transparency or tumblr transparent uh, transparency and then you're just gonna save the one you want like that poop <laughs> i don't know what i was gonna use that for but oh well if you want to create your own then go to the image you want to create as a png and just save it and then we're gonna go to PicMonkey. You guys know I love PicMonkey from my other techno series videos. <laughs> and you're gonna open the image you wanna create as a PNG. Then you're gonna go to Canvas Color and select Transparent Canvas. That's really important. And click Apply. After that, you're supposed to see an image with uh, little white and gray squares. Now you're gonna click on the little butterfly in the left side and you're gonna click on your own overlays that allows you to select your own images so we're gonna select the image we want to transform into our overlay and we're gonna resize it uh, the size of our image and where it says overlay and it says basic and then eraser we're gonna click on eraser and select the size of your eraser and then just start erasing the background of your image uh, and you'll start seeing the little squares and that means that your background is now transparent now you're just gonna save it and you can use it on your videos as a normal PNG you can also create some easier overlays in PicMonkey um, so we're just gonna do the same thing with another image which is gonna be canvas color transparent and then go to or overlays but using the ones PicMonkey already has for you so you can just change the color for whatever you want and just create your own overlay that you can then use as um, a background for text or whatever you want. They also have uh, different things like hearts or um, geometric figures, fig figures, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> or um, uh, circles or stars, whatever you want. So now that you have your overlays created, I'm gonna show you how to put them on your video. The first thing you're gonna do is go to file import and import the picture that you created as a PNG or you saved from Google. And then you'll see it appear in the left side and then you can just drag it to your video and you're gonna put it on top of it. It's really important that you put it on top because that's what makes it an overlay. And you can see I put like an emoji and then you, we can put our um square or i mean or um rectangle not a square and you can then put text on top of it so how it works is that whatever you put above your video it's going to be on top of the video and it's going to cover everything that's below it so this is an example of how text from being in the bottom when we bring it up it comes above the rectangle now i'm going to show you some of the tools that final cut pro gives you to use so we're gonna go to this little thing and let's start with effects. So there's so many things that you can use in effects. For example, the, the little squares or the um, kaleidoscope. Kel I don't know how you uh, pronounce it, but uh, the thing is just like to explore all the effects that there is and check which one is for you. Like for example, the light bubbles, that's how I call it. I don't know if that's the name, but yeah. Um, then you can go to music and there is all your iTunes songs 
and then you can just select the one you want to use drag it to your video then you can make it smaller or longer it depends on what you need it for now i'm gonna show you how to do this cool transitions so we're just gonna go to the next thing and there are all your answers to your prayers um there are all the transitions that you can use for um passing from one clip to the other and it's really easy you see that you see that it looks pretty cool doesn't it yeah <laughs> the next step is text so the ones that i normally use is custom and I really love when that's a typewriter. And this is an example of how a typewriter works. Um, yeah, so I really like those two. Now I'm gonna show you the last one, and it's like the background. So there is different types, like the curtain, cur curtains, you know, me and my pronunciation, but the one that I normally use is the custom one, and I use it for backgrounds. So you can just drag it to your uh, video and then change the color and then just select it and crop it. Once you crop it, you'll be able to see it uh, below the clip. And don't forget to put the background below the video. That's what I wanted to show you on my first editing 101 with Mariana in the techno series. And this doesn't have to be the only one. I can make more videos on how I edit and in iMovie and more in Final Cut Pro because I have so much more to show. It makes your videos look pretty pro. So if you wanna see that, then just give this video a thumbs up and if we get it to 100, then I'll make a part two and then a part three. That's, yeah, that's a three. And I'll see you on my next video. Let me know what you wanna see on the next techno series. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so if you want to see my last video which was a sibling tag, then just click on the screen. And if you want to see my other techno series episodes in which I have how to do a thumbnail, music without copyright on YouTube, and how to create an awesome channel, then just look for the links down below in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!